Hello everyone, welcome back to GSA. We got Celeste Any Percent League. I'm Troy of Athens. I got Blue Eye joining me. Yo. Yo. And Yo. we got Narrow versus I can't read. <laughs> Moose. Moose. Narrow versus Moose. Narrow versus Moose. For some reason the O looked like a D for a second. It really confused me. Nerd. Hmm. Yeah, that would make sense actually. Yeah, we're all nerds. Yeah. You guys should know Nero. He is basically a speedrunning god. You know, pretty much. He's like, ah, let me pick up Celeste. Ah, uh, yeah, let me just uh, be top five in like a few months. Oh, yeah, let me just casually get world record at all chapters. And now he's back at any percent. Moose is pretty good, too. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I, I definitely wouldn't like, like dwarf Moose's skill like he definitely is he definitely knows what he what to do in this game for sure it's yeah i happen to know that moose is has made the switch from a, an xbox controller to a ds4 and that has brought some struggles along but oh, uh, let's taking hope the route taking the route of tgh over here uh, yeah yeah you could say that but yeah, so for those who don't know, we're gonna have three runs. No matter what, who uh, who wins what run? Yep, we're gonna three have races. three races. Yep, three yeah. races, not a best of three. Mhm. Mm and uh, we're gonna see some new patch tech here. Wait, where did the cutscene go? Hmm. Uh, that's so, the new patch. Yeah. So literally <laughs> yesterday, someone. Found that you could skip the prologue cutscene at the end if you hit pause on the very first frame you hit the trigger, and that caused such a like a small little uproar that if a few hours later it was just patched in that you could skip the cutscene whenever you wanted. So now we can skip the prologue cutscene. Yay! So yeah, everyone's any percent time just got lowered by 15 seconds, basically. Yep. And no one's uh, yet to actually run anything yet. And this is going to make Flat. I'm sure it's going to make Flat very happy and sad at the same time. Because now he can easily get a 28 1x. Yep. <laughs> but now he's, <laughs> but no, but now he's going like... for 27. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, whoever wins a raid gets a point. And if you win the series, you also get another point. So four points at stake today. And uh, if you're on the losing end of such a, an exchange, you can at least get one point out of it. Ooh, Moose missing his neutral wall jumps here. Tries to go for backup, not quite. Makes it in the end, okay. Cool, cool. It's just so jarring to like see the timer as low as it is right now. <laughs> yeah, you're not used to this. Like, like I'm just like, oh, okay, we're at sub two minutes easily getting to battle line. What, what is, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 15 seconds that you just auto include. We're used to looking at the entire cutscene and you know holding dash to get that first frame dash. But now, now we're you know, just gonna skip it. Feels good, man. And yeah, just to clarify, it's yeah, we're not glitching anymore. This it's is not a glitch, glitch anymore. It, it was it, a glitch for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a glitch, and then uh, the developers were like, "Oh, you can do that. We're just gonna make it so you, so everyone can do that." Yeah. And so it's literally you just hit skip cutscene after after like you do the fall, like after you freeze in midair before oh, you the can dash. Do it earlier. Yeah, as earlier soon as you than hit that. The cutscene trigger. You can just skip it now. And done. Yeah. Done. It's it's actually interesting how much that prologue skipping has uh, went through, but that's a story for another day. Or maybe race two. Then we have then we see it again. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we got some. We do still have some hot stuff going on. Narrow has finished out chapter two um, in the like final two screens. You know, well, 
two parts this and then we're going to be in the awake section while moose is just a bit behind on the last battle line chase sequence yep i want to see it a, f oh, a good awake and arrow so far not disappointing oh my god oh baby wow okay <laughs> with corner just... boost in there as well there that has some flying through there was a little bit there there's like maybe like a little bit of being caught by a by a wall or something but basically nothing nah he corner boosted there tass awake win moose doing pretty good too getting some bunny hops in there had to do an upwards dash to lose all the momentum but got a corner boost in there as well hmm. Yeah, both nice awakes. Those were pretty woke. Nope. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I, I wasn't I, I wasn't aware you're trying to make a pun there, I'm sorry. Mm hmm I'm used to it. It's either that or they get it ten seconds later and just say no. So I'm okay with it. I don't care. Yeah. I like puns. <laughs> but yeah, Nero's no, showing no signs of uh, anything slowing him down so far. Yeah, m not making any mistakes. I really, anyone can catch it all and just keeping it nice and clean with his movement. Mm hmm. Yeah, and of course there's a reason why he's uh, considered one of the top contenders for that uh, top four finish to make it to the live event. So it's good to see him starting off strong. Still moves pretty close. So, but of course, resort the real first hurdle. You can you can usually see gaps being formed here, and then um, runners. I have a hard time recovering. Right, I mean, we are gonna be approaching um, Demo Dash soon, so it certainly is a possibility of going completely wrong, but I don't expect it too much from Nero. They're pretty much among the, every, pretty much a lot among the upper class of the, of the Celeste, we got a lot of people who can do Demo Dash Pretty much on their first try. Yep. Should be no problem. The real question is, is, uh, if, is he going for checkpoint lists? Ooh, Moose missing the spike jump. Oof. Like, I, I actually don't see people go for checkpoint list that much unless they're on ILPB pace. Yeah, I don't see it happening in race scenarios too much. It's nah. definitely done a lot for PB attempts, but I don't think we're going to see it at, like much, if at all. Oh, wow, good cycle skip there. Oh, you got a <laughs> sub 240 on that button. That's insane. Speaking of that uh, PB pace for ILs, uh, Narrow's resort has been near flawless. And yeah, getting that good speed going into this coin room. It's it always like moving in with into a new screen with that mo much momentum can be pretty jarring. And like you've got to know what to expect in the next screen. You have to know exactly what's in the yep. next screen in order to react to it properly. Is he take it? Oh, I took the checkpoint. It's fine. I didn't still, need it. Yeah, still gets the first try. Not going for the corner boost. Uh, uh, Could have saved boost. two seconds there. Come on now. Yeah, you could have gone for the corner boost to get the cycle skip, but didn't go for it. Yeah, you could you could have skipped the checkpoint. Who needs that? Yeah, that too. I was talking about the screen after demo dash, but yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Moose now also coming up to the demo dash ball. Right as I said, takes two deaths. Never mind. I'll look the other way real quick so he can do this room. Perfect. Uh, Nara having a bit of trouble with Oshiro here. Got a bit tripped up and is now out off cycle, so just kind of had to improvise. 
I think Dead Moose just did a checkpoint list. That looked like checkpoint list to me. I'm sorry, I was watching Nero because of the because of how, uh, his Oshiro problems that he's having right now. Oh no, okay. Because he's definitely having a couple of Shiro problems. He's now in the death cycle for Oshiro on the long screen. And so, Oshiro is certainly giving him trouble today for him. Yeah. I double checked. He, Moose did take, take the checkpoint, but he got first run on the list. So, at least keeping up as far as Damadash is concerned can now save a bit of time oh, at Moose the Oshiro fight. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. so chapter three is really where we start to yeah chapter three is where we're, we're at what we just went through is really where it starts to like if deaths happen in a race it's gonna happen starting here chapter one and two generally are just pretty textbook nothing really happens there but chapter yeah. three on is where things can get kind of crazy yeah chapter one is more minor movement errors than instead of deaths in chapter three especially, if you like get a death, you're just screwed over because you have to deal with a cycle you're not used to, and it's oh, just almost. And I mean, you get stuff like this, yeah. Oh, De Niro going for a faster cloud strat here, and Rage messed it up. That's actually a really tight dash jump to get off the bottom cloud. Good spike jump there. I am always impressed at how quickly people are able to set that one up. Yeah. And now, do we see the Ultra for the Auto Scroll Skip? Of course we do. Just that extra little bit of flare. I think, do remember it only saving a significant amount of time if you get a wall bounce at the end otherwise it's just like 0.1 seconds but still oh nice oh does not get the dash back so has to take the has to take the directional platform but does get a very good lowest uh extended uh jump there extended hyper dash there to get uh, to skip one of the directional platforms yeah that was good Who's going for the same cloud strat there? Actually, gotta incorporate that. Uh... Ooh. They are taking death in this wind cycle room. Can be kind of annoying to navigate. Makes it to cliff face now. And moves now on the auto scroller skip. Nice. Okay, what's that snowball bump near? Yeah, that was, that was an interesting <laughs> route to go for on that on that screen. Oh, he went underneath. See. Oh, okay. Oh, not getting the dash nope. restored. Oh, and the snowball was in a weird cycle for him, so he ended up dying. What a he got clipped in the head. Best definition of a headshot right there. So that's giving Moose some rest, some breathing room, to, some some space to catch up. That's good. If you're a fan of Moose, of course. Because that was like a three flat rage. Yep. Still very respectable. Yeah, I would. I I'd, I'd take a three flat all day, but. You know. Oh, this harsh, this vertical harsh wind room is getting some, getting some trouble with both players today. Hmm. Yeah, that's rough. Nice, Nero getting the task cycle there, really tight. Coming up to one of my favorite strats, if only just for the name. Double drop or oh yeet. We're talking about yeet. Yeah, we're talking about the one and only. Yeet! Yeet! Six 
successfully done. Oh, and okay, got out of the bubble a bit quick too soon there to get to get the cassette. Oh, what? Area. What was that? That was a nice reverse hyper actually. Interesting. From Musa's, from Musa's side? Or... Yeah, from Nero after the bubble. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. I need to I need to look closer for these strats. Yeah, so that's that's why Nero got out of the bubble. He was timing it for when it, the floor ends up underneath the bubble, yeah. but he did it a bit too early and the floor didn't exist yet, so he just went straight down on that first try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's too bad. Cool. But now Bubsrop is coming up shortly, don't worry about it. The very nice two-frame trick you have to make this 5B route worth it. If you mess it up, you lose a full 10 to 20 seconds. Yeah, 10. 10, 10. per try. 10 seconds, okay. I know my math. So, let's see. First try, no problem. So you see, see Nero taking an increasing his lead. Also because Moose uh, st still seems to be having troubles with that controller switch. Mostly. Oh, but that doesn't mean he... Oh, I was so close. Uh... I'm not sure. I think it looks like he went a little bit too low on the yeet. And then yeah, bonk, that, that... bonked his head somewhere. Um, I, I mean, I'm not a huge expert on Yeet, but it looked just to me like he came in a bit too high or something. Yeah, it's, it's kind of finicky. But still, it got yeah, most, I started to most learn of the skip. Like the lowest possible hyper <gasps> jump, the lowest Ooh. possible, oh, Giuseppe, yeah, and the, like the lowest possible corner boost. And it's like, so it's like these little things of like, oh, you actually have to be like, just yeah. doing taps of the buttons, so yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it seems most likely that is probably just a little bit too high in the corner boost, I think. Mm -hmm. And then Moose taking a death there because he is actually saving time by dashing down into the platform. Because uh, every time you dash, the game freezes for three frames, and thus the timer doesn't increase by three frames, four three frames. However, those uh, music blocks are tied to the background music, so they do keep going. So, he tried to do three dashes before continuing, but one of them was an accidental neutral dash forward, and he died. Nero having a bit of a unusual death there on that Theo screen, just kind of jumped straight over the spring. You know, gotta save those nine frames. I want to see this ultra. Nice. Yeah, that is a cool strat to see done well. Moose successfully got a bubs drop and it's just going through 5B as well. Mm hmm. Deficit looks to be about two minutes. Oh, wow, that is tilting Moose. I saw him pausing for a second there. So dying, not getting the reverse hyper correctly, and did not oh. get his dash back. That's the worst. Yeah, this room and the room with the mirror are so punishing. If you miss the cycle. There you go. Getting the reverse hyper on the second try. Yeah, Nero now running away with his first race. I mean, that is part of the reason why we do best of threes. There are so many little things that can go wrong. Well, not best of threes, three races. Because it's just a so many, yeah, there a are... series of three. There you go. Yeah, that works. Because there's just so many little things that can go wrong. So it's useful to have these little... And thanks hmm. for the raid. Of two people. But still a raid. So thank you. Nah, it's more than two. I can feel the presence. Nero not entering hollows. 
I always wonder if if they use the Kevin here or just use uh, an extended hyper. So I know Teach doesn't use the Kevin there. It's it's like virtually the same, but still. Right, and Moose now moving through the Theos of the Theo section here in 5B. While Nero is doing the top strats. Oh, did not go through the bumper, just went around it. I thought for someone who would run 6B, you'd know how to go through a bumper consistently. But, uh, takes the safer option. Not a terrible choice, really not. Nah. His pace is still really good. Let's so go for the ultra. He tried. Miss input dash. I'm gonna go for the death cycle now. I still wonder why would the strat in chapter 5 be yeet and this be, be not a yeet. He also got kind of flung by the block, I guess. I can see that, but I, I think the yeet is just, you, you're faster for so much longer. Yeah, the corner boost and, mostly. Yeah. And there's a lot more like control for it. So like, it actually, break, a yeet actually has to be like a, a shot, like an actual shot, whereas battle line boost, like once you get the beginning inputs to actually give you the the momentum, you pretty much are home free. Like there's like some minor things going through to get through the narrow hallway, but like not as much precision as the Yeet has. Mm -hmm. If I do remember, I, I might have been the guy who proposed the name battle line boost anyway, so. Shouldn't be complaining. Oh, eh, well, if you propose it, you can always rename it. Nah, I like the name. Good feather skip from Nero. <laughs> yeah, really clean fight so far. Go cool. usually look at where runners pass the four minute mark in this chapter. And, uh,. You should say, this is a really late 4 minute mark passage for Nero. His reflection has been really strong so far. Oh, we got another raid. Thank you. Thank you so much and welcome. Enjoy the show. Uh, as Nero enters the second part of the battle line fight. And Moose is about to enter his battle line fight after a couple more things. You know, grandma stuff. Yeah, hollow stuff, grandma stuff. Water stuff. Ooh. It barely exists. It's fine. Successful top route as well for Moose. Yeah, it's also going around the bumpers instead of through. Mm -hmm. Alright, is he going for the three frames? Yup. Always gotta go for those three frames. I mean, it's... It's still 0.05 seconds, let's be real. Yep, and Nero on the... Ooh. Oh! Snipe. On these... On this last... Battle line boss fight screen. A very long sequence and dying towards the end there. Pretty punishing death right there. Yeah, I had to wait another cycle as well. Just, he missed an input. But still, a very good lead here as Nero finishes battle line as Moose is just about to enter it. Yeah, the lead has. It's currently around three minutes. And, uh, you know, I don't like calling it early, but uh, a three minute deficit is like impossible to make up in Summit at this yeah, level. Yeah, pretty much. 
I, I can't even think of anything that Nero could possibly do. Yeah. Cost him three minutes. <laughs> like one minute, maybe. But yeah, three I minutes? Always, yeah, uh, a one, no. yeah, a one minute cap between two players going into Summit, that's possible. Anything more that. than that? Maybe. On the daily. Yeah, anything maybe. more than that, it's just kind of like, okay. But we still got two more races to go through. So while Nero is probably going to take this one, we still have two more possibilities for moves. Yep. And of course, you still want to keep the jitters like keep the jitters away. You want to be able to finish this run. You don't want to just uh, completely give up on it. You want to keep going. Yeah. Just use this as warm up. For the next run. Yeah, warm up and practice to like make sure that you that your your precision is actually there. Get used to controller. Yeah, get used to your DS4. <laughs> uh, my trusty DS4. You have one too. Mhm. Mm what is this trend? <laughs> what do you mean trend? I, I guess I didn't start on DS4, but I switched really quick. I'm I'm a keyboard man, so. Like I went to DS4 as soon as I went to PC. Ow. Moose keyboard trying to go oh. for uh, a reverse extended hyper into ultra there on the wall. Just chooses to make it a hyper instead. Because that's something that people... It like, takes a while to realize how, how you can extend a dash on one tile because you're next to a wall. So the, you can you just still do the full time duration animation while you're, you're banging into the wall. So you can just re extend it that way. Kind of funny how that works. Yeah. But it's really nice. You get those one tile extensions. Nero, heading into 1500 here. As Moose is finishing out Battleline boss. I want to see some cool cycle skips. That's one. There isn't really one on that screen because it's nah. a coin. This, this one. one has some good, good stuff. Looking good. Yep, got it. Then trip ultra room. Nice. So good. And then Frank Kersey to end it off. Okay, let's see some hot 2000 meter movement. Good wall bounces into the clouds. Going over next and into harsh wind. Moves down to summit swell. The only snowball screen. Let's see how long he can keep the strawberry. I want him to keep it to the end. No! <laughs> as soon as you say it something. The jinx. <laughs> Dude, that's like th the fourth time this race already. Complete just, BM over there. <laughs> where I just say something and they instantly say no. Like, instantly. Moose as well with a few deaths. Dang. I need, like, I might need to invest into Crystal Ball. This keeps happening. Yeah, good wall bounces going on over there. And on the final screen of 2,000 meters, as Moose is about in the middle of 500 meters. He went for some style. I want to see some style here. Yeah, he's going yeah. for it. Yeah, at this point, he's like, he knows he's behind. He's like, I'm, I'm just going to try for this some style. <laughs> practice some strategies that I know I'm not confident in, but I have the opportunity to practice them now. 
Oh, almost got that. Nero dying twice in this room. Going for a corner boost. Should still be fine though. Again, the spikes. Uh, again, this uh, wall jump there. Oh, that's not a bubble, sir. All right. Let's see. Tight fit, complete, and then we're almost, that in needle. Skipping almost that into door. 3k. Skipping those doors easily. And yep, I want into 3k on the last screen of 2500. As Moose is on the last screen of 1,000. Yeah. So, Nero's looking at, let's see, a high 29. Yeah, so it's looking to be case. Meanwhile, Moose is not having a great run today. Uh, right, right now with this first one, having a bit of trouble with Chapter Three, and that really was where it messed him up. Yeah. Yeah, it can be rough, especially since I know also that Moose has been running ARB mostly. So he came back to any percent for this league, of course. I can imagine a little bit of de-rusting was necessary as well. Yeah, but now on the final 19 flag, skipping 18 of course, going to straight to 17. Auto scroller skips as narrows in the final ten flags going on here. Ah, the always forgotten flag, flag eight. It's just so out of the way. Why would you ever go for it? Yeah, I don't know. Actually, only what only reason I'd ever go for it is if it was if it was in the new lockout bingo that's going on. That's true. It, it there's a, there's an game. objective that says get all get, flags. Yeah, get all flags 3,000 meters. Yeah, yeah. that <laughs> does exist. Time. <laughs> that would be the only time. Who's getting that demo dash there? I'm always scared of that demo dash, but I gotta learn that one. Yeah, apparently it's not as scary. As I know, I, that's, you what, just that, grab that's what motive. The... I, but that's what motivates me to try to learn it is that I keep hearing people being like, "It's not that bad, dude." Like, I, I you can instantly get it like almost every time, and I'm like, "Really?" Yeah, and otherwise <laughs> you just grab the block and it's normal. Nero finishing twenty nine forty. Gonna take in thirty seconds in theory, but let's be honest, we'll take the first race here and get his first point on the board. Moose having some fun with the red bubble, waiting for that door to unlock. Almost, I, sometimes it's just like dashing in place to desync the audio. I should try that one. And we're getting mm -hmm. door skips going on. Successful door skips. Yeah, then, then you can hear the lock being opened. Meanwhile, the key is just still turning, waiting. Sounds like fun. Uh, 
Okay, finishing out 2,500 meters here on Moose's side. Oh, and as I say the word, as as I say things, we just again there, and so. All right, uh, timer is in the top left corner for Moose right now, of that of his side. So you can go based off of that right now as we are about 30 minutes and 30 seconds going into the 3,000 meter sec. Yep. Let's, uh, let's give Moose some energy so he can close out 3k with some momentum to bring it into the next run. Yeah, I want to finish on a good note. want to get a good 3,000 meter split. Yeah, want to get those good vibes going. Get that two minute, 30 seconds uh, section, roughly. 2.30 is in... Uh, like okay, exactly what... 2.30 would probably be the record for this section. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Go around. I know flat is 2.31. <laughs> yeah, just get a 2.30 forehead. <laughs> well, I I'm just saying, like, get some, get some tasty uh, splits going on to motivate you into the next race. It doesn't need to be as good as the IL for this section, but still. You want to get something good. Something just to keep you motivated. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yep, just finishing it out now, going into flag 10. Is gonna take it. So I. It is do... still free. Yeah. Go. So I do believe it's their first, like, tournament race, league race, I should say, for both of them. Uh, that's. That sounds right. Yeah, as we are still in. Like the the first week, like pretty the, much. Yeah, the first week yeah. of, okay, okay, okay. of these leagues is the, the first game for everyone, pretty much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that was an interesting yeah. death there on There's flag There's a spring four. there, uh, sir. It just just held down for a bit too long. Uh, sometimes these springs are really weird, though. Like. You know, it's not that related to any percent, but in 7C, sometimes it feels like you just die if you hit the bottom half of a spring. And, kind of uh, weird. And Moose just skipped flag number two. Should be a huge deal going into flag one. Pretty simple to get. Yep. And we'll finish here. Yeah, so getting that. So yes, yeah, so that three minute gap is very apparent here in that final time. Which is unfortunate, but it's certainly good that he was able to maintain the gap, did not really let it get any larger afterwards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so GG's again. And uh, I'm sure they'll be getting ready for race number two right away. Yeah, if you want to go grab you, if you want to go grab yourself some water or some sort of drink right now, this would be the perfect time. Get it, some, get it quickly though. We're not going to be rested for too long. As we reset for the next match. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Quick toilet break. Shake off the nerves, get right back in it. You know, maybe, have a little more maybe time even... to, uh, to get ready, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe even go practice your chapter one IL, just like... Two times. Get through. <laughs> Two times. <laughs> 
Okay, fine. You're chapter two IL. <laughs> <laughs> Your prologue IL. Ten times. Because that's not like around 28 seconds. Yeah. Hmm. Prologue. Just, you basically don't even have a prologue anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just like how we have a grandma cutscene skip and then walking on falling rocks. Pretty much. And then and then it says you can do this. Just like how the there's a lot of downtime that outside of the IGT that got removed a little bit. So RTA time the run has gone down, but IGT just prologue. Just like why even play prologue at this point? <laughs> and also because the when you exit a chapter or you complete it, you don't get the death the deaths counting up. They just display stuff like that. Same with why the berries. Even play prologue at this so point. That just you know spares you some time having to wait for a death counter to go up. I mean, I kind of liked watching that stuff, and it didn't matter too much because the timer was paused anyway yeah I guess what's an IL it's an individual level yeah I guess if, for some there were some strats that involved like quit exiting the map and then it would be kind of slow just having to wait of course not slow in the sense that you would lose time but just they just want to get back into it. Oh, I could, yeah, that I definitely, I definitely could see that having to wait there could throw you off, you know, make you lose your concentration. Yeah, mostly, I mostly noticed that Bobai was happy with that because, you know, he runs ARB, having to watch the berries go up after every level can take a while. But still, yep, yeah. Some chapters having uh, close to 40 berries. So it's like, okay. Yeah. Or just summit. And you're like, nah, f probably have more. Huh? Yeah, summit has more, but I can think of a couple that are in the 30s. Yeah. Resort, temple. I know Rich is technically 29, so it's not 30, but... All right, looks like we're ready to go for race number two. Nero's up by one. Needs one more to get a guaranteed three points. Meanwhile, Moose looking to get at least that one point to help him into, you know, getting more for the later rounds, getting points. that head start. Yeah, points, points matter. Points are very important in keeping yourself high up in those in those ranks because this is based on your finishes at the end of the season to uh points wise to figure out where you're gonna be as the, as that top eight and then that top eight you're gonna get narrowed down to a top four and that top four goes to pace mm -hmm. so you, like if you're a minimalist you want to aim for that top eight for now and then but of uh, course you want to be trying your best that all time yep Ideally, you want to get a good seating going into top eight and then make that easier to get into top four, but of course. Both a very nice prologue cutscene skip. Very high precision trick now. And it almost feels like... Hmm. Who knows what to call it as we are finishing, as we are already about halfway through uh, chapter one. It, feel, it almost feels like I'm watching Nero twice. 
I mean, both players are very playing very well here, on both sides. Okay, As there I say you that, go. Moose takes a death, not getting the dash back there. That was that was just really good. They did, both did the same corner boosts and everything. That was really impressive. Yeah, that, that was really cool. Yeah, so we're actually getting a couple deaths here on Chapter 1, and no. it's allowing... And, yep, there's another one. And it's just <laughs> allowing for a little little bit of lead changes going on as Moose and Nero did trade it back and forth a little bit throughout Chapter 1. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, was the sink as well. Chapter one is just so optimized now. It's and it's not yeah. even. It, it can still go faster. Ever since so right. Narrow, narrow right now having about a five second lead. Yeah, that's that's still very doable. Of course, it's just only ta chapter one. Still so much to do. Because of course you could highlight stuff like. Demo dash or pops drop, but everything in between can be a five second death easily. Like any yeah, it's room. always, yeah, always about just trying to get the most optimal screen after the most optimal screen. Yeah, that too. It's even you know, even though Moose had like 30 deaths more last run, there was also just a bunch of spots where I could see Nero doing some dumb corner boost that would save 0.2 seconds. But if you keep doing those for 10, 20, 40 screens. Now you're gonna save those seconds. And you'll notice them at the end. Yes, yeah, so as both are in the final battle line room at roughly the same time. Nero just ad exiting it as, as Moose entered it. And yeah. now dealing with the final sections and going into a wake and we'll see some more good movement from narrow here hopefully hopefully yup same yep. strat yep getting those bunny hops in corner boost there so tight and keep the momentum by using a corner boost on that upward dash so clean I need to learn those corner boosts. <laughs> well, step one, get a second jump button. Step two, press it whenever you close the corner. Almost. That is at least what some of them feel like. Yeah. Entering a resort. So far, it, it's already a, a a tighter race than the first one. Yeah, only about two screens of difference between the two players right now. Cool. Ooh. Have we yet to get to any of the really, uh, any of the sections that are really gonna uh, cause huge gaps? We're not the demo dashes. We're not the Oshiro yet. Right now, we're still at some pretty uh, commonly practiced and like easily practiced areas. Right yeah. Well, at least one of the areas where a huge gap can form is the huge mess. But even though. There's just a bunch of tiny rooms, like the cycle skips are tight enough that just missing one means five to ten seconds here. Yeah, there are a good amount of cycles that if you miss them, they are punishing to... to... Like there, Nero went for a half cycle faster than what most people do in that room. Good spike jump on the first try. Ooh, Moose getting caught up in the... the... Help in the hub section of the mess. I 
And it's so crazy to me that that is uh, that strat there, um, where you're, where you're hypering into the next room with the uh, like the two vertical ones. Mm -hmm. I forget exactly what to call it. I, but you know what I'm talking about, blue eyes it seems. Yeah. yeah. Um, how you the room how the faster strategy. Yeah, how it's yeah. faster strategy to actually touch the ground instead of doing a dash yeah, there and there. Ultra in, you just ultra dash in, and you like continue. It's actually nuts. See, last time I saw Nero get a oh. faster cycle here, but looks like he has to take the death cycle. So never mind. You can see compared to his previous resort, this has been eight seconds slower for Nero so far. Moose does get the cycle. Very nice. Nicely done. And Nero entering the elevator shaft. So there's no doubt that we'll see the checkpoint, but do we, do we get first try? Do we get first? It's a real question. It is a very good question, as as Moose and Nero are still very close, and this demo dash could mean a lot. Ooh. Oh, Nero dying on the first attempt. On the second. On two. the sec. On the second as well. Moose is slowly catching up here. Three. Nero still tilting, not even getting a proper demo dash that third time. Four. Fourth time still. Oh, oh no! Not Moose got the pills even. What is? Finally gets on the fifth try, and Moose is there, gets it as well. We have a very close race going on now. They are neck and neck. Yeah, Moose slightly ahead now. The lead has completely vanished. And that's what I mean. That's the demo dash right there. Yeah, and keep in mind, we do go based on in-game time. So even though it looks like Nero is ahead, we actually do have the lead from Moose right now. Paying attention to those timers. You gotta find that pixel. So yeah. If, if we're doing stats for Celeste, I want to see the percentage that people have got on Demo Dash and Bob Strap. That would be really interesting to see. Yeah, th those are something I'm going to try to do. Don't don't quote me on things. I am going to try to start doing stats like Espa's doing. Mm -hmm. But dealing with Espa's code is another story. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Espa, but... I Gotta I'm tidy up the code. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but finish it out. And here, uh, Nero is actually going to be able to finish just a little bit before uh, Moose here, getting an 8.12 in-game time at the end of Chapter 3, whereas Moose is at 8.13. So just a little bit ahead for Nero, but still not by much. Only about a second going in. Uh, and I'm actually double checking. Moose did actually do the demo dash without taking the checkpoint, and he got it first try. And that's crazy. And that's I'm, crazy. Yeah, Moose is watching this, so he is like potentially like saw that Nero was messing it up and was like, "I'm just gonna take this risk." <laughs> well, it's, there's a. a Around a minute delay. I don't think he's able to catch that, but still. I believe it's actually a. F it's only like a few seconds, uh, because you're watch. Um, they're watching like the exact feed that is being streamed. I think it ends up being oh, like right, maybe of course, twenty yeah. seconds at he most. Is, he is in the feed, in the call. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually. Yeah, in the call. So it really it ends up being like twenty seconds at most of delay. But still, it's really hype. We got a race. And now yeah, let's taking see how that Bob's risk and paying it, off. Yeah, taking the risk and having it pay off as Ooh. Nero, oh, having an, a bit of an annoying death there as Moose is just about to enter this screen. Get onto the auto scroller skip. Could have gotten the wall bounce, but still fine. Hmm. Nero. Is increasing his lead again, though. Oh, Moose taking a very unnecessary death there as well. We, we keep seeing these just little messed, messed up deaths that happen that just from minor mistakes, and that can, that's what can happen in these later chapters. Just a small mistake can result in a death. Oh. 
Yeah. And, to and go going for, for the old, yeah, going for the older strats and things just like not the, used. To them. The fifth backup or something to get it. Yeah, pretty much. And we're back in cliff face for Nero's side. Oh no, Moose! Oh, <laughs> okay. Toying around a bit on this wall, waiting for the block. Fell down. Losing a lot of time on this auto scroller. And again. The very next room. Seems to struggle a bit in this golden rich. Yeah, people tend to underestimate this area, uh, this chapter, considering it doesn't have a lot of things going on here that can really um, trip you up too much. But there definitely is the snowball sections going on, yeah. and the like. Cliff face is deceptively difficult in some ways. Yeah, Rich is, Rich is like secretly a super technical chapter. Just no apparent gimmicks. It's just all, all really, it's really dependent on your movement. And I feel like that's where it be, that's why it can be so annoying is because it is about, it really is about getting that precision and getting yeah. it consistently for the full chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting that a uh, sub three rich is deceptively hard. All right, Nero, very important room because he's about to almost oh! get it. Oh! Same thing. What happened with Moose last race? I think. Yeah, that corner boost was a bit iffy. Getting this strat again. Oh, that's so nice. I need to borrow that, because that was really smooth. Very good tape grab from Nero. That looked like a 109 tape grab. Yeah, going to be exiting the tape, uh, exiting the chapter at 1221. I also so saw a here. little bit of uh, new patch magic there. Wait, the first look at Moose. Oh no, again? Not landing the eats. This time he went too low. His feet hit the, the very first platform of the room. But yeah, something's on Moose's side there. How fast he was able to go to exit the map. Because uh, with the newest patch, you, the, the options will actually scroll and wrap around so you can actually press up to go to return a map instantly instead of having to press down like four times. Saves a bit Which of time. Nero just did actually though. Yeah. Should you press start up and then double A and then you're back at map. Saves a bit of time. Second tribe ups drop for Nero. Still really small it. See, two out of three so far for him. And uh, let's see if Moose responds. And he does, nice. Yeah, let's see if he can make sure to actually get the correct reverse hyper on the first try here. Gets it. That's very important right now. Having that in-game timer lead of, of seven seconds. So it is a bit deceptive yet again as he is entering the mirror. Still a little bit behind, but not as large of a gap as it appears. Although with that death, a few extra seconds get at it. Well, Nero is kind of bullying these Seekers in 5B. You end up uh, b bopping a lot of them in this chapter. Yeah, I, I do think you actually bop um, 
at least optimally, you bopped, uh, uh, you bop a lot more Seekers in 5A than you do in 5B, but it definitely seems like a lot more. Optimally, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's been a while. Here, you, you bop at yeah, least. Like, like... You don't bop any of those. Like, there's are so many good boppable Seekers right there, and you don't hit them. Just happy little boys that just want to get bopped. You know? Well, if you want to bop some Seekers, you could play Bingo. If you want to, if you want to kill some seekers, you can play Bingo. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, small side side tangent, but uh, actually, the board where it says Bop thirty seekers. <laughs> I didn't. I've never seen that one. I've seen a uh, kill like three seekers. Yeah, kill kill a seeker is also on there. Yeah, that but, one uh, I see more often. Yeah, in that case, I actually sort of spawn camped a seeker, and he just got bopped to oblivion. Anyway, back back to the race. Nero entering reflection. Gonna do lake skip. Last time he did it so fast, I wasn't even mentionable. Cause you know he just does it, no problem, whatever. Right, you gotta be paying attention to the exact right moment to actually see it happen. Yeah, I just I assumed. Believe, and I believe Moose got the uh, enter entrance cycle for that heart with the ultra. Um, it wasn't quite an ultra, but it did look like the, just the way that he landed on the platform that he was in there. That's nice. So, like, he didn't die on that room. I don't know if it was the optimal strategy, but it definitely wasn't the, a death uh, cycle strategy. Cool. So, I guess I mentioned bingo should be... Uh... We should be release, quote unquote, releasing that soon. Yeah, if you want to like help out with it, of course. We have plenty of runners who are like looking into it. I, I want to look into it too, but I am just so bad at it. I can't find a good opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just so bad at oh, this no, game. No, you can find a good opponent, but it's too good. Yeah, exactly. I can find opponents, but then I'm like, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to lose this. Why am I doing this? Oh. Yeah, having a death here in the hollows. That corner boost is nice though. The bumper bumper boost into corner boost. Hmm. I mean, we have a pretty large gap in the in-game timers right now. So yet again, more just like deceptively large gaps going on. As it's probably not that large right now. I'll yeah, try to get a good marker here. You're probably the grandma cutscene. Looks to be still like half of Hollow's difference. A little less than half. Yeah, it got the grandma around 17 uh, 30. Yeah. Okay. Or I guess roughly the difference between their IL timers. It's usually a good day. Good giveaway of their difference. That is seeming to ring true as we are as approaching the grandma and in around the 750 range. 1750. Oh, <laughs> but messing up here on this top strat. As Nero has entered battle line fight. His heyas have started. And so hey, those deaths have actually cost him a good amount of time, and we are actually, I'd say, about at a minute gap now. Mm -hmm. Say, like, mostly rich. Some 5B yeah. hiccups. And some hiccups here as well in this chapter. Yeah. And just Nero playing like a, like Nero. Yeah, yeah Nero just being consistent <laughs> and not allowing for mistakes to really be unnoticed. Like having any sort of real mistakes on any of these oh. screens can be a huge punishment. And yeah. 
That was one. I, I get. I yeah, narrow. Going a bit too far to the right. I think either like going to a different strategy or just like weird weird controls going on. Forgetting he didn't have the dash at that moment. Well, it, it's just not too huge of a deal going into this battle line fight for Moose now starting up as Nero is very close to the halfway mark. Having to take it a bit slow right now on that on that screen. been unmasked. I'm asking people if they want to play geography with my accent. I know it's American, but there is different areas of America. The USA is a very large country. Where in America am I? Where am I? America. <laughs> well, we got, uh, we, yeah, we got there. But... Yeah, we, we, figured, we established that one. Um, but anyway, a narrow... I have a normal accent. That's racist. <laughs> no, that's a compliment. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Uh, Nero going in here on the last screen on the death cycle now. Ended up taking a death on the final screen. Made it. Yeah, I'll take East Coast. I, I am pretty like mixed East Coast accent. I am not. You can't really pinpoint me anywhere on the East Coast with with my voice alone. But it is Ooh, East Coast. That's a hint. Right, Nero done with reflection. Let's see, twenty one eighteen. Bit higher time than last time. Moose is also performing better than last time, I would say. So it's close overall, and I would say it's. Theoretically, still possible for a movie. Yeah, I'm gonna try to come to pace. I'll, I'll definitely. That is definitely on the list of things. I am definitely trying for pace. It's a matter of if work gets in the way or not. But it's definitely something I'm very hyped for. Want to be able to be there for all the nice Celeste races, so all the nice of every races. All these leagues have been very hyped to, um, on these on during this whole week. I find myself secretly opening it up during work on my phone. Moose finishing out reflection now. Mm -hmm. Near in 500. So, it would be like 90 seconds. Around there. Maybe, uh, maybe 80. I'm gonna say 80. Yeah, I don't think it's as big as 90 seconds. It's like zero meters is 45, and then with IGT, 46 seconds ish. Something around there. I just, um, <laughs> Kagan, I, I just say soda. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, I mean that actually pinpoints you even closer, because I think there's a very specific people that just say sp that only say soda. Um. I also don't drink soda that that often, so like, at, if at all, so I, it's not really something that is said very commonly for me. Taking that alternate strat in 15 or in the 1,000 meters, excuse me, oh. as Moose is finishing out zero meters. Where were oh, Nero's dashes there? Hmm. Let's 
So let's see, around one and a half sections difference. And it's getting rough for most uh, mount to come back now. Yeah, we are on that larger than one minute gap between the two players. Mm -hmm. But it certainly is like something that can be closed a little bit. I don't know if it can uh, be closed enough that I actually can switch uh, switch leads, but it definitely is going to get much closer. Or can Ooh. get much closer. Nice backup yeah, from Nero. Missing the triple hyper room. Yeah, I missed the uh, second ultra. Well, no, didn't did miss the ultra. Like, missed the, the dash crystal a little bit. Lost this momentum. Yeah, definitely an improvement on Moose's side. It's really good to see. I'm just speaking the facts in chat. Yeah. <laughs> How's the geography lesson going? Pretty good. People learning more about the geography of America. Although I do need to learn more about the geography of Europe, I'll admit that. Uh, same but in reverse. Oh, it's very true, yeah. I, it's <laughs> like... like... I, I've seen the, those jokes so many times. I'm sorry, we're back. But it's like... The... Watch, like, seeing the maps of, like, an American trying to identify all the countries on a European map, and then seeing, like... And then seeing a European... Yeah, seeing, seeing, seeing a Europe... Yeah, seeing a European yes. trying to uh, label all the states on the map of the USA, it's like, hilarious. I could probably get six, and that's about it. The rest is like, whoa, whatever, dude. I can get a... I can get about 50%. <laughs> Nah, it's just six the number. Like, no, no percentage, just six. I, I can get a confidently like 50%. After that, I'd be guessing a little bit, but it's still like. Pretty yeah. Good. It, it's just because, like, you're living in the areas, you, you understand what borders you. Like, that is pretty yeah, much just an essential. Much. You get. You understand your bordering areas. And Nero having some trouble here now. With, yeah, getting back on track. Nero having some trouble <laughs> now with 2,500 meters. <laughs> Although, I did see a video where they asked, I think it was Americans, to just name countries on the world map, and that was kind of embarrassing. True. But they always get the people that are going to be the most interesting to show. Like, True. They got one kid who just started naming 50 countries, and then there, there was applause. So that, at least there was some... <laughs> there was some hope. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we have some, you know, go, on, go to SM64, what what do they get off track with? Fast food. What does Celeste commentators get off track with? Geography. <laughs> Ge so, we're, a bit more, we're a bit more sophisticated over here on Celeste. <laughs> God. Sure. Throwing shots at the SM64 commentators. <laughs> I am not... <laughs> <laughs> Our race streamer is an SM64, guys. <laughs> having fun here. And that also brings me to the story where I did a commentary with Flare Bear and... Uh, what was the other? I forgot the other name. Oof. And, and another person. It was Lori, actually. And I think they both fell asleep on commentary during uh, the second game. And I, so only noticed, like, I only noticed, like, I only noticed after Flare woke up again. That how do we get weird. bored watching this? I don't understand. I don't know how they fell asleep. <laughs> like, oh. even even with this gap, I'm still, like, very invested, looking at how looking how, how well the 3,000 meters is going right now for 4 narrow going on some 20 flags, going to be in the updraft section soon. Like, come on. Yeah, There's crazy right. stuff going on. You want to keep watching. Yeah, I want to see... What they do, what I could use in my runs. Yeah, that is absolutely a case for me now as well. I'm approaching sub 50. I will get there. Even though I'm any percent isn't really my focus right now. It's all I can focus on. It's the hearts. <laughs> Going for the hearts. All of the hearts. Are we saying all hearts or all chapters? Because that all is hearts. different. No, it's all hearts. Yeah. 
Ooh, messing up a little bit on flag 13 now. Oh, and messing taking up a fully. death! Not, not a little bit anymore. Yeah, it was, a, it was a bit of a minor hiccup, losing dashes, but then it ended up taking a full death there. Yeah, it was a minor hiccup and it turned into a sneeze. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Moose, threaten the needle. Gone to go through the door skip. Just flashback to the time when people said, you know, it's not worth to do that because it's, it's just, you know, it's safe. It's too, too dumb risk reward wise. Not worth it. No one, no one does it anyway. No, no just don't bother. Now everyone just doesn't really care. Chat appears pretty dead right now. Of course, the demo dash button helped a little bit. So there's no excuse anymore, but still. I still don't use demo dash button out of spite. No, I don't use it for door skips. It's, it's too free. I actually only... It, it just feels dirty. I know, like, it's allowed, but it just feels dirty to me to use it. I only use that button for fast menuing. And one demo dash in, in 7B. That's oh, it. lost the dash on flag two. Luckily, did actually take that checkpoint. Moose over here in the 20s right now, though, so it's not really looking to be any sort of huge cost for Nair. No. Moose waiting for the crumble platforms. He needs a second dash there. But still, they were both on 3k there. That's a good sign. Nero finishing off 30.07. About 17 seconds slower, but still enough to take the race. And yeah, you can really see the in-game time timer differences that happened because of the uh, large gap. I get it just wasn't really seeming like a uh, too big of a deal if they were off sync. So we are still seeing a little bit of behind as now just hitting that up ahead of 30 minutes. Yep. We're still looking for, like, a solid 31 here. I would say a 31. Wait, there's a Mortal Kombat 11 reveal going on? Wait a minute. Crap, I, I you know what? You got, a, you got a good logic going on there. You got some good logic. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> nah. I gotta see those new fatalities. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Moose coming in here. <laughs> I think the next comment is also, you know, it's there's a hint of truth in there. Yeah, we we are the best commentators right now, obviously. Obvi so entertaining. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. What? I said a true statement. I don't know why you're. No, no, I, that was an actual real cough. Oh, okay. don't worry. Well, don't die on me. Nah, nah, nah. I've, I've been past that point. We're all dead now. Yeah. Ooh, like three death. Gonna turn into a high 31 now, but still really solid compared to the 33 of last run. That's a. Uh, that's the proof what you like to see. We look at PBs just for fun. Yeah. Shout 30, out to the 50, FGC. Yeah. I have friends in the FGC, just by the way, before going into Mortal Kombat on the side here. <laughs> fun, fun scene to watch. Where my Smash Ultimate fans at then? It's not a oh. fighting game. Oof. It just hurt me a little bit. It feels bad. <sighs> Yeah, GG okay, to yeah. Moose. 31.52. Yeah, yeah, much of a smaller, a much smaller gap going on here in the second race. It's gonna be a, about a two-minute gap there. Yeah. Moose still yet to get the sub 30, so it's you know working around on that's on around the 30-minute range. So having a 31.52 is actually a pretty decent time. Mm-hmm. It's also 70 seconds 
Foster. He's showing he's finding his groove with the new controller. Getting that needed uh, practice in. Yep, and players still learning the rules here going on. Very important to all the runners, read all the rules on the Smash GG page. Read the whole thing. Yeah. There's a lot going on there, and there's money on the line, so you kind of want to know it. Yep, so with this win, Nero has three points. Yeah. Because there's no way he will lose the set in this way. And Yeah, speaking of money, yeah, there's a... Not only is there some money on the line, there's a lot of money on the line, and thank you. And even though, like, we're not, we don't have to shout out sponsors, thank you to Matt Makes Games for giving us that much money <laughs> for this for this prize pool. Gotta love the creators of this game. Yeah, that's yeah, shout outs to uh, the, the devs for sponsoring the tournament. Yeah, it's sponsoring and giving a ton of support, too. They tweeted out, like, this week's schedule for Celeste yeah, on that's... DSA. They they made a graphic. They're invested. On their Twitter. <laughs> they, they want people to watch this. So, welcome if anyone came through from that tweet. So, I don't know if that ever happened. Mm, I think. Got, found a few. Probably, yeah, probably a few fans out there. <laughs> Alright. Getting ready for the final race to Nero Ca Moose. Can, can Moose get that one point? Yes, Cheese is giving us that countdown in the chat for us. And it's gonna happen. We're gonna skip the cutscene in prologue. It, oh, feels so good. It's always interesting to see Nero's, because Nero has a slightly different font because he's using the Japanese text. Mm -hmm. The font isn't different for the timer, but everywhere else it's different. And you're just like looking at it, and, it's like, and it throws you off seeing in the in the chapter, uh, in the chapter stuff and the menus and the and the file select, and you're just like, oh, okay, it looks different. Yeah. I usually wondered why you could not skip this cutscene. Or, and then I remembered that it was just that you cannot pause. Feels good. To yeah, you could skip yeah, every cutscene. During scene that moment, the there was, you weren't allowed to do any inputs other yeah. than upright and dash. <laughs> Those were all you could do. Mm -hmm. If you tried to do anything else while you were frozen in midair, it, you just stay there forever. Oh. Nero missing the wall bounce. Moose ahead. Pog. <laughs> Crab rave mean? Moose is ahead? What? Yeah, oh, you don't know that one. Okay, sorry. I do know Crab rave, but... I'll, I'll demonstrate in the chat. Sure, sure. So why does this skip suddenly possible? So last night, there you go. Uh, someone found that you could skip that cutscene because you could open the pause menu on the frame you would hit the cutscene trigger. Like, and every frame after that, you would not be able to pause. As uh, Troy said, your controls would be frozen. So upon finding that, and the frame just going right, just going crazy that we could skip the cutscene. The devs patched in that you could just skip it whenever you wanted. Yeah, and Moose is still ahead, actually. Just about a half a second here. But the, the one difference, though, is that they kept the sentence, like, for you can do this, they kept that in. With the old exploit, that would be skipped, too. Yeah, so you're essentially skipping the, bo uh, the bird telling you to dash, and then landing and all that, and then it panning up to you can do this. 
which is uh, a significant part of the prologue. Now I have crap rave in my head. Thanks, chat. That's not a problem, that's a great song. I know. Yeah, players very close together right now. Moving into the battle line chase sequence very soon. And Moose is, in fact, still ahead by a little bit. Not by much, but it is there. And maintaining it as well. Keeping the, keeping the strategies going very solid. Yeah. Yeah, get get those not bads. Yeah, those seems good in chat. Seems good. He is ahead right now. Alright. Keeping it going. Oh, right. oh, oh Mr. Coin. Oh what oh. a backup. Oh those improv strats. That's so good. It is it can be pretty panicky have having that many battle lines going around you trying to realize, okay, where is my opening? How do I get out of this? So that was that was really good from Nero being able to clutch out of there, but that definitely gives a lead to uh, Moose here. But that was such a good save. We Holy. do say that we were showing that Nero does have the better awake section here, so it is certainly something that could be closed right now a bit oh. further. But Nero actually tripping up on awake. Moose is ahead by five seconds. Yeah, that is a that is actually a good amount of time going on. Now we got a 329 finish to a 333 finish on chapter two. Going into the resort. Let's go. I wonder. Does he keep the demo dash checkpoint this time? Or is he going all in? It's very interest it's very interesting. At this point, Ooh. I mean yeah, it would be clear Ooh. to Moose. Oh <laughs> not getting the hyper dash. Yeah, I saw so him slow it... down because he missed the initial cycle already. Oof, that's rough. That is rough, so at this point we are back to being tied probably between the two players. Uh checking. Yeah, pretty much right on the money. For timing but as i say that moose missing another death pausing for a second to get bearings again it's around seven seconds for nero now that is and that is really where it can be taxing not only do you get the death but sometimes you know you can just get such a punishing death that you need to get your bearings again you just yeah you're like did that really just happen and, <laughs> and then you're just stunned and then that is that right there is enough for it to be a huge deficit so you got the death animation up along with you actually recovering Literally the dot 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 in disbelief. Absolutely, so you really gotta make sure that you minimize that as much as possible, but Moose not having a good amount of ability right now to Yeah, now it's it's all about keeping the calm, keeping the collection, keeping the focus. And that's where doing a lot of no reset runs can give you that experience. Right, and narrow now about a 10 second lead, I would say. Mm. 10 to 20 seconds, somewhere in that range. Yeah, around there. We need more crabs. We did, we did one when we had crabs in here. Yeah, the crabs are just remaining as we keep having a bit of a slower chat today, but it's fine. As we, as said before, we are all just mesmerized by the by the gameplay of, of these players, and it is very close right now. So we don't want to say anything to jinx the player. Nero so far unfazed. Yeah, going for the cycle skip again potentially. Got it. He's able to get it. Well done there. Gets the corner boost as well. And that's pretty much. Oh, it looks like a synced button press, but there were two different button presses there. <laughs> I 
Alright, alright. Elevator shaft. Where we chase down El Creepo. And do the demo dash. Oh, a messy screen to get a death on. The death cycle is so annoying there. But is able to get the cycle skip on the next screen and gets the corner boost. Alright, here we go. Takes the checkpoint. And gets it on the first try. Nero able to get the recovery mentally and um, from messing up so many times on that second race and is now back to having it done on the first try. Yeah, good luck with the stats on that one. <laughs> I'll do a, I, I think I have some ideas. I'm gonna do like per game possibly and other stuff. Like I think, like honestly, I might just settle with an Excel sheet for now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll I'll think in demo Moses. dash. Bob no Strap, checkpoint. Yeet. He got it. Yeet, of course. Yeah, Yeet, of course, has to be in that list of tricks. Yeah. Bob's drop. Yeah, Bob's drop. And um, leg skip, probably. Yeah, leg skip in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll guys. Of course, uh, you know, like, what do you guys want? In chat, of course, we can get some ideas as well. But I, I feel I'll be more in the GSA Discord that we have that uh, talking around in the Celeste chat trying to see what stats I will gather. Yeah. Moose again. No fear. No checkpoint needed for my for me, he says. On the demo dash. Really good stuff. Just thinking. Maybe auto scroller in chapter four. Nah. We're just getting a pretty good final screen here. A yeah, really solid entry cycle. Nice, very yeah, good. Yeah, that was well done. Yeah, dealt with the entry cycle and was not and did not have to deal with dying there, as Nero has started up chapter four. Push try. Yeah. Still a lead for Nero, of course. Nothing too major. Yeah, it's still, Although, it's still a pretty small gap right now. Judging from Nero's consistency, these two Ooh. runs. That might be all it ne he needs. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Oh, someone's stealing jobs. It's fine. Uh, uh, that, that gives me more time to try to clean up Spa's code if someone else wants to deal with the stats. That's good. <laughs> yeah, as long as door skip is not on there, I'm fine. You can put thread the needle on there, though. Yeah, maybe. There's a stats team? <laughs> now that's hype. Uh, I mean, one of the staff is listed. Add me to the stats team. <laughs> I, I was a minor in math in college. Stats are really cool to me. Add me. <laughs> yeah. Want to make some nice graphs. Be a huge nerd. Plus, stats never lie. Feels good. I was already thinking of like some stats I could for Mario Kart even. That sounds like cool. Like, most common bans, which is first picked. Like, cause like there's a, yeah, like with the pick banning phase going on with, with Mario Kart, like there's a lot more going on that you can statistically Wait, there's do. a pick ban phase? Yeah. Cause oh. there's 16 tracks. And it's best of it. It's thirteen races, so you ban. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So you okay. ban three, and uh, like people choose, and then the loser of the first of like that race chooses the next track. Oh, that's really so, cool. So it's like a lot. There's actually strategy going on there. Like it's crazy. <laughs> okay, now I actually want to watch that. So be sure to f to find the schedule when the Mario Kart is going on after Celeste. That sounds hype. 
Yeah. If you're not watching all of the leagues for GSA, you're doing something wrong with your life. They've all been very hype. And right, Nero entering chapter five. Missing a bubble ball. <laughs> Yo, Alt Insider, how you doing? I've been watching your uh, compilations of, of the games done quick stuff that you were involved in. So good job. Cool to see. Cool to see you here. Now, heading into Deaths. Deaths, the room. Or subsection, actually. With a, with a strat. You know, just a strat where we, we like to have stats for this strat. Yeah, yeet! Oh, it oh. missed again. 33 and, and that's And that's where oh, that wow. strat is going to be kind of hard to track, is getting the yeet, but then not having it, not maintaining it the whole way through. Like, got yeah. the momentum, but did not quite get it correctly. I would say that's a no. Just or, get, or, or you could make a distinction between the full yeet and the yeah. The yeet. You just, the <laughs> yeet. Or yeah. Where you only get, like, the initial half. Definitely looking for a full yeet. Finally been able to say it once. Oh, Yeah, and they're going into Bob's drop soon as Moose still has not gotten a single yeet going on so far. So close. Yeah, all three races today, not getting a single yeet. It's it can be rough to get uh, consistently because you're going so fast. The initial uh, short hyper. But still. Like, I can't get that trick anymore, it's it's really annoying. I have never successfully gotten yeet. I tried learning it yesterday a little bit, and I spent, like, a good half an hour just sitting there in Chapter 5. <laughs> with, with, like, some... With some sub-40 players trying to help me out, and it's just like... It's so hard, I was like, I give up. Yeah, I can imagine. First drop, Bob's drop for Nero, by the way. But at least the good thing about Yeet is if you get the Ye or Yeet, then it doesn't lose as much time. Yeah, full Yeet only. Like, of course it loses time to the full Yeet, but it does not lose time to any other strand. So it's still, like, there's no reason not to go for it. Moose coming up on the bubs drop. Oh, that was a failed bubs drop. Second try. I, I miss my TGH sub. Hmm. I, I miss my TG8 sub. Having that yeet is definitely very useful. Yeah. Especially for the puns. Ex yeah, exactly. You know, other say, uses of the word. Staying Ooh, by no. with the ye emote. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> any the story behind the name is you get flung across the screen. Yeah, so any, any story yeet. behind the, uh, the name? Um, a oh, lot of our oh, speedrunners are Gen Z. That's why. <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> ask, ask sushi. sushi. Who is a Gen Z? Yeah, he ca he came up. <laughs> like th there you go. Oh, uh, moose, not like what? this. That's the fifth try for Bubstrup. Like I have nothing against Gen Z, but th it, it, that is a term only really used more by Gen Z. Oh, there we go. Six times the charm. Yeah. It's... Like. That was just around the any first tournament lot we did last summer, and you can like, yeah, I like calling this the Yee, and then that stuck somehow. Always gotta welcome the younger community to speedrun. Mm -hmm. Myself being a millennial, but still loving all the other generations that come in here. We want this, want the speedrunning community to grow and keep come and keep happening. 
Ah, millennials. Millennials are can vote now, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, going through the mirror section now, as Nero has gone through Lake Skip and is starting up chapter. Do having to wait a little bit for that coin? According to this, I'm on the edge of millennium. Mm -hmm. Sure. Same. That's very edgy. Right. Moose. Getting the seeker boost. Oh, whatever you want to call it. Seeker boost sounds fine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's Kevin just like the strats so much. Happen. Kevin and Black strats happening over here on the hollows for Nero. <laughs> and this is still not that large of a gap. We are definitely still in possibility. But as I said before, Nero doesn't really. He doesn't really lot. lose time. Yeah, yeah Nero, Nero doesn't lose time. There's actually not a lot of opportunities right now for Moose to make up the, the gap right now. Yeah, plus he lost 50 seconds on Bub's drop. So, why that's you rough. Guys, why aren't you guys tracking ILs for people? I, I understand tricks specifically, but come on. You gotta, you gotta track uh, chapter finishes. And cassette grab in the case of a 5A. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of tough to call it, but missing up stroke five times, almost an auto loss at this level, especially. Was it really that much? Yeah, it, 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 I was counting, it was at least five times that I had to restart the chapter. I, I stopped paying attention to uh, my boost aside for a little bit. So you have to look at the IL timers now. It's two, two and a half minutes. Yeah, some moose just ending up with some little, um, with different mistakes in each run, which is definitely um, means that moose has some things to work on. Has, has to come back to the any percent practice. Um, gotta gotta lay off of those other categories just for a bit so that you can get some good points in the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to balance A or B and any percent now. It'll be hard. Or I, know, I know the reason why, but we'll ask him when, uh, when we get there. Better. Yeah. There are some reasonings, but it, it should be fine. Um, oh, I well, mean, like, we are tracking come it. next week. And deaths, too? Cool. Yeah, of, of course you gotta track deaths. You gotta track everything. Strawberries. <laughs> Strawberries. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Now that's a stat I would like. Who grabs the? Who exit? Who collects the most strawberries? That's the true king. We, we want none of that dying with the strawberries here. Nah, 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 nah. We collecting them. Cause, like, runners should get two per run if they don't die. Yeah, they get two. Sometimes you get the third in Summit, if you go really low, but uh, it's, it should be two. Alright, Nero. Just chilling in this fight. Smacking Badline in the face. Oh, Moose missing the bumper boost. Still solid backup. Where's, where's... Now, you, now you're just singing Crab Rave. I know. Oh, yeah. good save from Nero. Bit of a thing that just... Had to be saved, unfortunately. Nero having a bit more mistakes than he usually does in this third race. Maybe feeling a bit of fatigue having to do three in a row at, at top level. Like, I've seen people, I've seen racers certainly doing like resets after resets and all that stuff, but to actually like have to 
fully, go into a no reset, and keep going, and like, have that fatigue set in, it, it's definitely a possibility once you get to three races. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you gotta look out for Flodervi in this, uh, this league, because that's the guy who doesn't reset, period. So I'm expecting some big consistency from him. He has started to reset. He he know. has actually yes, but he's um like his his he resets completion. but doesn't open live split so that he can keep the stats for live split going and we're all just like that's kind of cheating and that's kind of like against the whole point of doing that. <laughs> but yeah. like I'm just gonna let it slide, Flad. You do you. <laughs> yeah, his his live split completion percentage is insane. Yeah, it's like you know what like 80 90 percent. Maybe I should get a world record, and then and then I'll be able to actually contradict his uh, rules on keeping his finishing, uh, his completion rate up that high just by not having it open when he's resetting a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's too bad for Moose. Uh, Nero entering summit now. Just, Irish uh, berries in fall tournament was two point oh eight. That makes sense. I can mean, can just stroll to the to the finish line here. You pretty much get two berries the whole way, you know, there's one in Summit, but one in Chapter 3. There were people who got the third, which which berry would that be? Um, I would think the one after the usual one in Summit. Yeah, that would be my guess as well. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other berry that's like super obvious, but you can barely miss it. Not really. No, I think there's actually people who went for the uh, berry at the end of chapter four for swag. It wasn't that the tournament where um, Bye Bye was in it and was just and for the first like be for the beginning of the tournament he was just like I'm just gonna do all berries because I feel like it. <laughs> no, I think they mean the the tournament, the GSA tournament. Oh, yeah. Mm. So my my I guess I, I my guess is for I... berries. Yeah, I might be mixing up GSA one with the speed gaming one that happened. Yeah. My guess would be yeah, the one in chapter four, the very last berry in the the wind area. And yeah. the berry in 2K where you, you runners go over the berry, but you can go under. It's also a wind section. Like for a little bit further in 2K. I think those are the other two like highest grab berries. Apart from the D3 you, you mentioned. Yeah, Summit having a lot of berries, there's of course gonna be opportunities where they just end up in the way. Swag berries. Oh Moose. Made it. Easy save. That was really that was really close. That's about, yeah, that's about the berries I can think of. You wanna get into watching Celeste? Well, you're in the perfect spot. Yeah, right I mean, here. I would tell you to follow some streamers, but of course you can follow this place too. We're gonna have races. I believe right now we have at least one Celeste race a day I, going on. I think right so. now we have a, a, a race going or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I mean, it is almost done right now, so I do want to say, yeah, we do have probably at least one Celeste race a day going. Pretty much. Yeah, I could plug me, but, uh, eh. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a self-plug. It's kind of weird. weird I mean, we are allowed to say follow the streamers and runners. Oh, follow the runners and commentators. We are allowed to say those things. Whew. So go follow us, I guess, and and, and the runners, and yeah. all the other twelve people in the league, uh, ten people in the league, because I'm, yeah, not including the two people that are racing right now, because I already said that. Yeah, it depends on which part of Celeste. Pretty much, you want to see one of them see like the highest level of any percent, or maybe or do you different see categories. People struggling to learn. Yeah, depends. Or do you actually just want to go speed run it yourself? Who knows? It's a very fun game, very fun one to watch and to play. Mm -hmm. 
tips for like the high level runners you could just look at people who are in this bracket or in this league it's the most popular one being tgh but with Fladervi being on that world record or grind it could be any day right narrow getting that one berry there yep that's the and one that is that one and coming up on the screen where i was that's like this the other one too could yeah that's the other berry i was like that could potentially be picked up a lot <laughs> Uh, where's the, the other, other berry? Let me think. That's a few- Oh, uh, missing the wall bounce! Getting the recovery, oh. though. Whew, that was close. I mean, you could technically go for this berry if you feel like it. No, it this berry really... is really bad. I mean, it's bad, but it doesn't waste any time to go for I, it. I really. meant this berry, this berry over here. I meant the one on the, on that auto scroller. This one, yeah. By. That, you can, oh like, yeah, that berry too. That one can also just, if you want to go for it for the memes, it doesn't waste any time. Yeah, that's a swag berry. I just go for all red berries. Wait a minute. And Flare Fuser, you are definitely in the majority of that opinion. It's what gets a lot of people into this game, is just how tight the movement is. But yeah, a lot of the top streamer, uh, a lot of the top speedrunners for this game are do stream pretty much every day. So if you want to go, find those people too, or try to. Feels bad. Ooh, that's a corner. F. Yeah, I don't know why you call that. Yeah, cor corner something. Or Cor rather. corner expletive. Um, corner yikes. Sort of like to say, as a backup. I mean, corner frick works too. Yep. But it's basically an accidental wall kick. So you can call it awk as well, or awkward. But uh, these corners can be really annoying sometimes. You know what's even more annoying than an, a corner frick? Is getting a wall jump off a wall that just spawned behind you due to like loading triggers and losing your momentum because of it that's annoying on those final 30 flags now just hit the 3000 meters for Nero as Moose is moving into 2000 meters towards the end there just barely squeaking out of there on the cloud. Okay. My co-commentator just still singing the crab rave to himself. <laughs> How did you know? Pretty uh, easy guess right now. Fucking crab rave stuck in my head. Ah. <sighs> Oh, death on flag number 20 over there. Oh, but wait. Yeah, you get, playing it close to the You get an actual spike. spike jump there. Yeah, you're playing close to the spikes there. In contrary the to the other spike jumps, this wasn't, it was a true, honest, real spike jump. Gotta love the wind physics. Yeah, with oh, vertical nice. wind, spike, uh, spike jumps that are on, that are pointing up and down are possible. Yep. And with horizontal wind, of course, just the other spikes. So you can get, get like spike wall jumps. But it doesn't have as many applications. It doesn't. If you're, it does. If guess, you're doing all chapters. Yeah, I guess bit. we just haven't looked hard enough for them. Oh, that missing could, the neutral jump, dying on flag twelve. That could be a thing too. Just trying. Usually, when there's a lot of wind, there's just no spikes or no floor. So there's really. I mean, there, as said by all, the all chapters run at GDQ, there is no floor in the other chapters. So that is true. B sides has no floor. There, what just, what floor? <laughs> screen transitions. That's your floor. I mean, Ben was completely right about that.
the final five flags for Nero as Moose is threading the needle. Failing it once right there and is now going to go into door skip. Yeah, me too. I also like corner yikes. I don't like them occurring. No. Please, no. As Nero just got one, trying to do a corner boost. Gonna get the best time of today for him at least. 29.44. Very solid. It was definitely looking to be a sub 30 going into Summit. So good to see yeah. that he was able to maintain that. Yeah, and again, Nero, one of the top contenders of the league here. Very likely to make it all the way. So I'm taking home the victory with all three races here. Getting the sweet four points to get him kickstarted into the into the standings. And Moo Bear, Moo, Moo uh, Bear, Moo Bear. Who is Moo Bear? It's com bear combined Flare Bear with Moose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, Moose going through, going on flag thirds. This is, is that thirteen? No, that's that's sixteen. What am I saying? Seventeen. I can't what? count. We're on fourteen now. Yes, we're on fourteen. Uh, oh, stamina. No, you can make it. Neutrals, neutrals. Yeah, that is, that is some very exact neutrals that you have to do there. Yeah, the wind makes that hard, actually. Because they push you up. It pushes you up too high. That's actually... All right. Yeah. All right. So, just prefacing a bit. We're gonna have a, a very, a very brief talk with Moose because we're almost kind of running out of time. Yeah. So let's just do the outro while he's finishing yeah. up these bombs. Exactly. Plans. I was gonna plug something for Moose and myself right here. That would be a good time, I think. Go for it, dude. Because, uh, coming up in next month, around like the 18th to the 24th of February. There's going to be ESA Winter 2019, and there is a Celeste run happening at that marathon, believe it or not. We're going to be doing a 2v2 100% relay race, where um, one player will do the A-sides and get all collectibles, which will be Moose and another player, which is uh, Swazi. And then me and Psyched will do B and C-sides for our respective team. So that should be hype. Um, I think, I remember we're on Friday, which is the... Ah, oh, I can't... It should be the 21st, 22nd. But uh, yeah, that should be really fun to watch. I'm, well, I'm sure you guys are going to have fun with it as well. And mm -hmm. we got Moose here on the final flag now. So, thank you for that. Um, we After this, we'll be SM64. Uh, between Proto Man 5 and Dro uh, Drogi SR. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I don't know the names that well for SM64. I need to learn more. But yeah, GG to both players. Good good runs. Nero is going to be coming out of there with four points. Yep. Um, and Moose, if, if, if uh, wanting to talk, can have an interview. A, a it quick is really talk. A, it, it really is to Moose. But if he doesn't come in soon enough, he probably will just lose his opportunity altogether and we'll just move on. Okay. Moose is undeafened, it, it appears, and he could he should be able to hear us. Hi Moose. Hi. 
Hello. Hello. Real quick interview going on. How you doing? Yeah. Um, that kind of went as I expected. Uh, I have a new controller that I got two days ago. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I kind of have an off day. And Nero is way too good. That's yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you still got yeah, some pretty yeah, decent times pretty going on with it. the second race. I'd say was uh, was second race, of course, being the best finish time that you had of these three. That was pretty solid. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So yeah, good. I guess good luck to you in the future. Um, I would ask you more questions, <laughs> but we are short on time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if good. you have any final thoughts, say them now if you have them. Otherwise, I'll say uh, goodbye. I think I pretty much summarized everything. Thank you guys for commentating, though. All right. Thank everyone for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the SM6470 Star Tournament thing that is going to happen next. So, you know, stick around.